Today's snagging inspection found a multitude of things. Gas box is damaged, needs repairing. Should never have been left like that. Poor finish to the underneath of the boiler flue. Again, that shouldn't have been left like that. Fence is having a laugh here. Gate post is just nailed to the brickwork. That's never going to last. That should be screwed and plugged. Disgraceful how they've just left that. Bent nails. Shocking. There's roof tiles damaged. That should have been replaced before the homeowner moved in. In the garage, the RCD unit is loose and isn't fastened to the backboard properly. Electrician's not doing his job there. Wall tiles in the downstairs cloak room. The builder's replacing the tiles, but just look at this. What a mess. Look at the cutting. And around the pipes behind the sink pedestal. Absolutely disgraceful. Common fault with internal doors. The screws are tiny in these door handles and should have the through bolts fitted where the two holes are. Again, another common fault. Joiner's too lazy to put them in or can't be bothered. Not good. New post, 10 millimetres out of plumb. Again, NHBC standards state that that should be plumb. Nobody's checking. Wall tiler again. Tile trim, not very good. Needs replacing throughout the bathroom and ensuite. In the ensuite, there's also damaged tiles that are chipped. How the tile has got to do that, or the plastic surgeon could do it. Kitchen window, or sorry, bedroom window, damaged. That needs repairing. How's that not been seen? Surely that should have been picked up. In the roof, this is ridiculous. It was absolutely sopping with condensation. No cross floor ventilation. You can see it on the felt so obviously not use breathable felt what made it worse was that the builder thought it was acceptable to give the customer a dehumidifier that's going to cost a fortune 